Good morning, all, and uh, welcome to Proverbs 24, and uh, just uh, moseying right along through Proverbs. So we are uh, going to look at a few verses in here. I uh, got a couple things that we're going to look at. Uh, you know, this week, uh, some of these uh, Proverbs, as we get into 24, 25, they're really interesting. And uh, so I thought we would just kind of go through some of the interesting ones, talk about them, and uh, just, uh, you know, get a lot from it. So, again, make sure you're reading along. Read uh, before and after uh, the, the future chapters just so you can make sure to be reading this whole book of Proverbs because there's a lot of good stuff in there. Some you might find that apply to you and you're like, oh, wow, I really should look at that. Uh, so, starting in verse 13 uh, it, of 24, chapter 24, verse 13, it says, My son, eat honey because it is good. Now, how many of you out there like honey? Uh, at the time, I mean, honey, you know, was a very popular thing because it's very sugary, it's very sweet, it's, uh, you know, said to be nature's candy. Uh, but, you know, I know there's people out there that are like, ew, I don't like honey. But you just have to, if you don't like honey, you just have to go along with it because at the time it's like, sugar. So just think is like, my son, eat sugar because it is good, but it's actually honey. Uh, and the honeycomb, which is sweet to your taste. So just like, it's like you think about when you eat that candy, you eat that sugary thing, it's like, mmm, oh, that tastes so good, you know, like a dessert. Uh, that's kind of what this is saying. So even if you don't like honey, just think of it then like dessert or, or something that you do like, but it's like sweet to your taste. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be to your soul. If you have found it, there is a prospect and your hope will not be cut off. And, and so what it's kind of saying is that you should be looking at knowledge and wisdom, kind of be in that same thing of like that dessert to you, that sugary taste. Like as much as like when you get to have dessert, I know it seems like every night in our house here on uh, quarantine, we've been having dessert, uh, which doesn't help, you know, makes me have to work out that much more. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to come back and you guys, these guys be like, what happened to you, Pastor Steve? Of uh, desserts. So, but you can't, uh, you know, and we'll get into like not having too much dessert. That's actually in a Proverbs uh, a little bit later. Uh, but eat honey because it is good. Take on that wisdom, that knowledge, like it's something that you enjoy, like dessert, like playing video games, like have that same desire to take it on because it's good for you. If you have found it, there is a prospect and your hope will not be cut off. It's saying like you will continue to learn and grow uh, if you just keep after that, that uh, knowledge like honey. Uh, and then the other part that uh, I just want to go through real quick is verse 17 and 18 because I think this is a good one. It says, uh, do not rejoice when your enemy falls. And do not let your heart be glad when he stumbles, lest the Lord see it and it displease him, and he turn away his wrath from him. You know, sometimes we don't like people, you know, or someone does something mean to us, and, uh, you know, it's like, then something bad happens to them, and your first thought is like, oh, you deserve that. Or like, huh, I'm glad that happened to you because you weren't so nice to me. And that's what it's saying here is don't do that. Don't be that way. You know, don't, like, when something bad happens to your enemy, don't be like, yeah, I'm glad that happened to you. No, like, if your enemy or someone that's not very nice to you gets sick or hurt or we shouldn't celebrate that. Like, sometimes, you know, you see in, like, a sports game, we don't have been watching sports recently, but in a sports game, someone from the opposing team gets injured and the fans cheer. And there's nothing worse than that. We shouldn't be cheering someone getting injured, cheering someone getting sick. Never. I mean, as... As the Bible says, you should love your neighbor, love your enemy, love everyone. And I just thought that these two things were good. is love knowledge, just like you love dessert. And also, even with your enemies, we shouldn't be rejoicing when bad things happen to them. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this morning. And these are such good proverbs uh, to take away that we should continue to love knowledge and, and eat it up just like we eat dessert at night. And also just learning that we should be loving to our enemies, the people that aren't nice to us, the people who say mean things. We shouldn't be rejoicing when bad things happen to them or hoping bad things happen to them. We should still love them and be kind to them the way that you call us to be. And we love you so much in Jesus' name. And all of God's children said, 
Amen. All right, guys, I'll see you in the morning.